Well, we've played a few friendlies during the international break. I've been working on one of our secondary tactics, uh, the 343 that we have played in years past. And uh, we've extended a couple of loans. Uh, we were able to get to a point that uh, the loan window opened, I guess. And we've extended three of our five loanees. So let's roll the intro. Take a look at who we are bringing back and some highlights and today's match. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is Club 5, Episode 3 in our Journeyman Save. And we are at Grenoble in France's Ligue 1. So we have, uh, don't forget, hit the like buttons if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, that will keep you up to date on daily Football Manager content. So as I mentioned in the intro, we did get to a point where we were able to extend some loans. So Eusebio Martinez, uh, he hasn't started a ton of games. Uh, but he has been one of my regular starters. And so we have brought him back to the end of next season. Uh, Fran, our left back, we have brought him back as well. And Nimic, our center back, we have extended his offer as well. Uh, now, they have not accepted, they have not confirmed, but all three of their clubs have at least accepted uh, the loan agreement. So hopefully, that will come to pass. Let's take a look at some highlights. We were taking on Red Star FC in this one, and we are in the blue. Benitez played it through, intercepted, but it falls right back to Marty, who scores it and put us up 1-0 in the fifth minute. Hubert gets a through ball on the pass and beats Rune to the back post, and I think this will be Rune's last season as our starting keeper. Uh, Rune made a save. It was cleared off the line, brought right back in, and passed around the box. Graham Butte uh, got the goal, putting uh, Rent. I don't know what club this is. I forget. The initials don't do anything for me. Anyway, uh, Rowe would then score, and it would make it 3-1 to one in this one. And things were looking dismal for us. 63rd minute. Marty, Pescarillo, Martinez, and he puts it in to make it 3-2. to two. And we have a fighting chance. Martinez gets the pass there, drives into the box, and a deft finish to equalize in the 83rd minute. And that's where we would finish up 3-3, three to three, Red Star FC. I just said it, and I quickly forgot one of the drawbacks of getting old. <laughs> So taking a look at our schedule here, so keeping in mind, we started against Guinecomp. Last episode was Club Bruges in the Euros. So we lost to Le Havre, I think is the pronunciation. But uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, and I'll probably be looking to Americanize that as best I can. But we lost 3-2 to two, uh, on that one. We came back 3-2 to two victor over Nimes. Uh, Gallas and Benitez with goals, Benitez with a brace. The 3-3 draw there, and you can see we had the 12-0 and 15-0 wins in the friendlies uh, with the new tactic that we were playing, which we will use today against, Ren, uh, I think that's Ren, Stad Rena, Rene, Stad Rena FC, but I think it's Ren is how that's what, what they're called. I remember uh, Leeds got... Uh, Rafinha from them this off season. All right. Well, Gabriel Nimick has confirmed his loan agreement, so he'll be back for next season. Uh, I think that is a good acquisition for us. Uh, you know, still kind of early. Not exactly sure where we're going to be, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Quinonia's out for a day or two. Uh, Fran has accepted his deal, and Martinez has accepted his deal. So that is excellent news. We haven't lost a match. Now, granted, a lot of these are friendlies, but we're one draw, one win, uh, one loss. 
since the last episode, and that has dropped as another point. We're four points behind Montpellier uh, in eighth position in the table. PSG are seven, six points ahead of Lille, uh, who we are, no, we're playing Wren today. Yep, Wren is just outside relegation. Oh my goodness, let's see. Let's check transfers. So the three loanies are coming in. Nothing else going on there. It's wet and breezy. We are home, only th th just under 4,000 tickets sold. So our fans are not very supportive. I'm going to go back to the 424. Just I want to be a little more defensively sound. Of course, at three back, we score a lot, but we also concede a lot. So it's going to be Fran, Gallus, Godoy, and Quinonez on the back line. Rune in the goal. Pekaranen and Garcia in the mid. Nagano and Abdullah Guzel on the wings. Martin and Marty up top. And hopefully we can find some points. You know, I mean, in the Premier League, you don't see a lot of undersold stadiums like that. And this club is, is an upper half of the table, right? I mean, we did look at that. So, disappointing. Crossed in, headed out, Abdullah Guzel over the top. What control by Martin. <laughs> And he tries to split the defenders, but it looked like uh, it was Diote got a leg in there to knock it wide. We'll take the corner. It's headed away, and it's Ali on the counter. Abdullah Gazelle making up ground on him. We've got two men on Quintero and knocked away. Let's our defense reset, so that was probably a smart play. Nothing happens on that highlight, which is good. Quinonez tracks back on that. Gets control for us. A little triangle work. Pekaranen. Uh Our youth intake came in. It wasn't very good. We only signed one player out of the bunch, and he was a three-star. So very disappointing. Fran cuts that one off. Up ahead to Nagano. He cuts it inside. Trying to build something up. The through ball, and it's Guzel making the run. Marty with the assist, and what was that, number eight? And that's how fast I forget things. I looked at the, the box, and I, I acknowledged the goal, but I forgot immediately. <laughs> immediately. Quinonez to Marty. Garcia. I'm looking for a cross here. No, that was horrible. Oh, God. Godoy did not close it off, and Rune was just standing there. It's like he bent down to pick it up and let the guy dance right around him. That's an equalizer in the 15th minute. That might be one of the most horrible goals I've ever seen conceded. We need to do better. So let's demand more. Ratings are fine. It looks like we're playing well. We're creating chances. We just need to do better. The header goes high. Off the mark. We're back with another highlight. There's one into the box. Pekka ran in. That's his fifth of the season. And what a finish by Dragon Pekaranen. Gotta like that one. That puts us back up. Grenoble 2, Wren 1. Just a few minutes before the half. I'd like to go in with the one goal lead. If we can stretch it to two, that would be great. There it is, and it's Gabriel Garcia, his fifth of the season, Guzel with the assist. And we've got all these guys that are now hitting goals, and it's like their fifth of the season. So it kind of makes you wonder what they were doing earlier in the year, right? Obviously not a whole lot. That's going to get us into the half. Three to one advantage. Give them some praise to open up the second half. 
The attacking side is all playing over sevens. All right, we're going to go ahead and sub uh, Aziz Marty off. I'm okay. Let's bring him up for Marty. He had a little injury, too. What happened? A foot injury? Okay, that's what happened to him. And let's go ahead and pull off Nagano for Benitez. Do that. All right. Godoy is popping up into that seven range. Pekaranen. Oh, good play by Peterson. Thought we were going to be able to get ahead on that ball. We've got a lot of defenders back. Oh, that's a beautiful inlet pass. Rune, what a save. No sooner do I think that he's done for than he makes a play like that. And I'm pretty impressed. Uh, Edward just kind of let that ball go. All right, through ball to Martin, and he scores it. 17th of the season for Nicholas Martin, and we have taken a 4-1 to one lead in the 67th minute. Oh, we almost picked up another one there on a header. Not much of a highlight there, just, just ended up with a shot on goal. That was kind of like when that happens. Oh, uh, there's a through ball, and it's wide of the mark. Oh, and it, he, I thought he might have been offsides, but doesn't look like it. 21 shots to 10. We are doing really well here. Come on, fellas. Uh, and Godoy gets beaten again, and he tackles Henning in the box. It's going to be a penalty, possibly a card. And he thinks I'm the reason he's not in his national team anymore? I would dispute that. They do give up the penalty. Rune against Traverso. And Rune goes the wrong way. It's Grenoble 4, Ren 2 in the 77th minute. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub. Tell you what, let's bring on Nathaniel Williams for Godoy. I don't usually sub out but yeah, at center back, but Williams is, is younger. He's Well, no, he's not. He's 35. Jeez. So I don't have center backs. So I'm going to have to really try to get one in the offseason here, I think. Oh, Martin with a good touch, and what a finish by Benitez. His seventh of the season. That gets our lead back to a three-goal advantage. Five to two, and we're into the 85th minute. And there was a little bit of lag there. All right, four minutes of stoppage time. I'll be happy if we play it out to the whistle, which we do. What an outing. 23 shots, 12 on target. Very, very nice. A good win. And now we are only one point, but we're, we're Montpellier still have a game in hand. Marty out for a couple of days. Martin Steller, let's go ahead and congratulate him. I just kind of want to finish the day so we can check the standings. We do have a few guys retiring at the end of the year, so that's going to be something we'll put uh, that we'll take a look at. Again, coming into a good run of form, I think we have done a pretty good job since coming over. Uh, you got to throw those friendlies out, though, so disregard those. But 3-2, 3-3, 2 we're scoring goals. We're doing well. And we are at the end of the season. So we'll come back. We'll finish off against, uh, uh, I don't even, I didn't check the pronunciation on these yet. Rims and Nantes, we'll check those pronunciations, maybe, if I don't forget. And uh, we'll see you guys next episode for that. Hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. Bye.